Golden Aerobus was satellite in Philippe in Cape Town in the a early this morning. It's believed to be related to protest action. Well, for more, we are joined on the line by Bronwyn dyke Bayer from Golden Aerobus Services. Bronwyn, good morning. Tell us what happened. Good morning, Dan, and good morning to your viewers. Um, as you said, unfortunately, this morning at about half past six, uh, on the corners of Governor Becky and Stockard in Philippi, one of our bus um, came under attack from a group of unknown perpetrators. They surrounded the bus, which was carrying passengers. They began pelting it with stones, um, and once the passengers and the drivers had fled, they set the bus alight. Um, the bus subsequently burnt out. Fortunately, no injuries were reported. At this stage, the cause of the attack is unknown, but it does appear to be related to the protest action in the area. We are therefore diverting all of our services uh, between Swartcliffe Road and New Iceland in the area. Has Golden Arrow bus services, have they been targeted recently, or this is just out of the blue? Unfortunately, Dan, because our vehicles are so big and um, some people have the misconception that we are government-owned, um, whenever there is protest action, we do seem to come under attack. Um, we obviously have a group of operational people on the, on the ground at all times um, so that we can try to avoid incidents like this. But unfortunately, it's so volatile and dynamic that um, things can change at a second, and that's unfortunately what happened this morning. Okay, and the, uh, the police, uh, are they on the scene to investigate and, and assist in this regard? They are. We work very closely with law enforcement, traps, um, and government, and hopefully these people will be apprehended um, for this callous crime. Obviously, we condemn it in the strongest possible terms. Um, it's absolutely wrong to target people who are trying to get to work to make a living for their families um, and some people have been seriously hurt. Now Bronin, you said at this stage uh, Golden Arrow you're suspending your services. Uh, will this be just for today or for how long will your services not be available? So we won't be suspending our service. Whenever, as I said, unfortunately, this is just something that we deal with on an operational level basically every day. So we don't suspend our services. What we do is when we identify a hotspot, we divert our buses around it. So passengers who are traveling on that kind of area between Swartcliffe and New Iceland Road, their buses will divert around that area, but they will still be in operation. Yeah, I mean, the risk that there the could be another area where a similar attack might happen exists. I guess uh, it must be one of your highlighted risks. And what are you going to do to ensure that the other routes are kept as safe as you can, especially for the commuters? Well, Dan, that is tricky. As I said, unfortunately, this has become the new normal for our operations. Um, these kind of hotspots flare up at any time when there's any kind of tension, often uh, related to service delivery protests. So we have officials on the ground at all times. As I said, we work very closely with law enforcement and such. But unfortunately, you just never know when people are going to turn and, and when something like this is going to happen. At the time that the incident happened, it appeared that everything was completely normal. Um, and then it just changed, you know, in the blink of an eye. So we do everything that we can to ensure that our passengers are able to get to work safely, um, and we will continue to do that. Thank you very much.